Good afternoon, sir and classmate. Today, I am going to discuss the national artists for music. Under this topic, we will encounter 14 great musicians that serves as the crowning glory for the Philippine music industry. National artists. Who are the national artists for music? Individuals who have made significant contribution to their artistic profession are awarded the highest state honor. Before obtaining the award, deserving individuals must have been recommended by both the Cultural Center and the National Commission for Culture and the Arts. By virtue of, of President Ferdinand Marcos, Proclamation Number 1001 of April 2, 1972, in the National Commission for Culture and the Art. Such personalities are titled. So, ano nga ba ang national artists? So, ang national artists award seeks to give honor to the Filipino individuals with outstanding share in the cultural heritage and cultural identity of the country by means of their valuable efforts and contributions. Who is the first national artist? According to Mario Alvaro Limos in his article published on the 19, Fernando Marsolo was the first Philippine national artist in 1972. So, si Fernando Marsolo was the first Philippine national artist, but he is not belong to the national artist of music. He belongs to visual arts national artist. Antolino Ramirez Buenaventura was was born on May 4, 1904, in Baliwag, Bulacan. Antonino wrote songs and musical arrangement based on the different ethnic group in the country. Also, Buenaventura became band conductor and instructor of the Philippine Military Academy. He was assigned to reorganize the Philippine Constabulary, Constabulary Band, which later became the Philippine Army Band, which he conducted for 16 years. Year of Proclamation in 1988. The second one is Jose Man Monserrat Masida, composer, ethnomusicologist, and pianist, was born in Manila on January 31, 1917. Jose focused on understanding and popularizing Filipino tradition music. Jose also popularized Filipino tradition music. Maceda spent most of his life for the promotion of the national cultural identity. Maceda Year of Proclamation, 1997. Pangatlo ay si Lucera Roses Casilag. Kasilag was born in San Fernando, La Union on August 31, 1918. Kasilag, national artist in music. Kasilag focused Western influences to Philippine ethnic music. Kasilag, Year of Proclamation, 1989. Hernani Hoson Cuanco Cuanco was born on May 10, 1936, in Malolos, Bulacan, a composer and a teacher. Cuanco incorporated Kundiman elements in his ballad love songs. Cuenco's greatest hit, Gaano Kita Kamahal, was a proof of how he enriched the Filipino love ballad by including elements of music, Kundiman in it, as what I've said previously. He incorporated Gundiman elements in his ballad love songs. Cuenco Year of Proclamation, 1999. Lucio Diestro San Pedro was born February 11, 1913 at Angono Rizal. So si San Pedro, nagahimo siya kanta ng mas laglong pa. Nga ka na na yung mga sense, every line he, he construct. He used Filipino folk songs and arranged them to reflect the Filipino identity. He composed Ogoy ng Duyan, Darna, etc. San Pedro, Year Proclamation, 1991. <music> 
Antonio Jesus Naguyat Molina was born in Quiapo, Manila on December 26, 1894. He was a concert soloist, composer, and conductor. He included the whole tone scale and ethnic instrument in his composition. He innovated the Philippine music by using folk in instruments like kulintang and kabang. Molina, Year of Proclamation, 1973 Francisco Francisco Feliciano Composer, conductor, was born on February 19, 1941 Siya ang pinaka-importante niya composer sa Pilipinas Kaya nagabuhat siya more than 20 major works that includes operas, and music dramas. Feliciano, Year of Proclamation, 2014. <laughs> Levi Silerio, lyricist and violinist, was born on April 30, 1910, in Tondo, Manila. Mr. Silerio wrote songs for Filipino music for Filipino movies. Silerio was asked to write the theme song, The Lagang Bukit of Philippine Films. Most unforgettable among the songs he wrote the lyrics for is Maligayang Pasko at Manigong Bagong Taon. Most popularly known as Ang Pasko ay Sumapit. Silerio, Year of Proclamation, 1997. <laughs> Ramon Pagayon Santos was born in Pasig Rizal on February 28, 1941. He combined Philippine indigenous and orchestral instrument. Santos, Year of Proclamation, 2014. <laughs> Jubita Puentes was born on Rojas Capiz, founder of the artist Grilled of the Philippines, which periodically produced the tour of the Opera Land. Puentes, Year of Proclamation, 1976. Honorata Atang Dilarama was born on Pandakan, Manila. Dilarama, Year of Proclamation, 1987. <laughs> Felipe Padilla de Leon was born on Piniranda, Nueva Ecija. Felipe wrote music that reflects war and peace. De Leon, Year of Proclamation, 1997. Andrea Ofilada Veneracion was born on Manila. Andrea developed Philippine choral music. Katong 1997, giawardan siya ng The Outstanding Filipino Award for Culture and Arts para sa iyang contribution sa pagdevelop sa choral singing sa Pilipinas. Veneracion Year of Proclamation, 1999. <laughs> Raimundo Cipriano Hante Kayabyab, also known as Ryan Kayabyab, was born on May 4, 1952 in Quezon City. He is a composer, conductor, musical director, and teacher. He formed and managed group like the Smoky Mountain and 14K. Ryan Kayabyab, Year of Proclamation, 2018. Who 
is the latest national artist in music? Ryan Kayabiab, according to Wikipedia, was named as national artist of the Philippines for music in 2018. One of the most popular Mr. Kayabiab's composition is the Kumokoti Kotitap. Kumokoti Kotitap back in 1983 when Ryan Kayabiab composed Kumokoti Kotitap for a musical between the star of Bethlehem. The song was to be used as a contest piece in a spectacular repetition of choirs in a company. Who is the first artist recorded the song? According to Leate C. Salterio of ABS-CBN News, that Joey Albert was the first to record the song Kumokotikotitap of Kayabyab. Kumokotikotitap Dumubusibusilak Ganyan ang inda Na mga bumbilya Kikinag-inda Kukurap-kurap-dum Pinaglalaroan Inyong mga mata Okay! Okay! Okay!